You know what I hate? When people complain about going on diets that, uh, that involve eating less food, as opposed to people going on diets where they have to increase the amount of food they eat. You know what I mean? When people say, yo, like, dude, I gotta go on this diet and I have to eat so much less, it sucks, it's so hard, it's so difficult. To me, it's simple. You just don't eat as much. There's so many other things you can do in the day that don't involve eating. So for me, I'm supposed to eat like six meals a day, you know what I mean, like bodybuilders, whatever, every like two hours and stuff. I honestly don't have time and I'm too lazy to count that out. So what I've developed the past couple months is I'm just eating all day long. As soon as I get up, from the moment I get up to the moment I go to sleep, I'm just eating constantly, constantly. Just all day I'm, too, I'm eating something, whether it's um, a snack or a meal, anything, I'm always eating. So I want to give you guys some advice, YouTube, what's up? It's, uh, what time is it? About 10 o'clock, or 9 o'clock right now on August, I think it's the 8th, Saturday, 2012. I want to give you guys some advice on how to increase your, like, hunger, how to increase, um, how much calories you get in a day. Because if, I I'm not going to give you advice on how to lose weight. Just stop eating. Okay? Your body needs a, your, your, um, BMR, your basal metabolic rate, that's at a certain number, okay? according to your weight and that's not going to change unless you stop eating you know you need a certain amount of calories to keep to stay the way you are if you t take in less than those calories and you need a deficiency you will lose weight that's simple I'm not going to go into that that's simple I'm trying to help the guys who are like me who need to eat more and there's one thing I'm going to tell you there's only one thing you really need to know to get hundreds of calories smoothies get yourself a blender I don't care how cheap you guys are we're all cheap we're all college students we're all broke, get yourself a blender, get yourself fruit, bananas, peanut butter, oatmeal, and any kind of fruit that you like, but definitely bananas because it like makes a smoothie really thick, and, and a, a mass gainer, some kind of protein mass gainer like I take. You can add, guys, the thing I, I drink, I try to drink, not every day, but a lot of days, this little smoothie, one little smoothie has got like 750 calories in it. It's a joke. It's a joke how, how many calories are in there. So that's honestly like the secret weapon. Because think about it, okay? Think about it logically. You take a banana. I, I have blueberries and raspberries down there. Back in the day, you guys, those fruits, I mean, they still, they still today, they take months to grow. They take like two months, three months, actually not months. I don't know how many months. That's something else. I don't know how long, how many months it takes for those fruits, those types of fruits to grow. But it's a long time. So putting all those fruits into a smoothie and blending it up within minutes, you just took what used to take months back in the day, you know, in the 1900s, 1800s, we used to take months, and you did that in like freaking 15 minutes. I'm telling you, you get so many nutrients, so many calories, everything you need in that smoothie. Make sure you add oatmeal, peanut butter, all that stuff, a little bit of olive oil too. You can get 700 plus calories easy, easy. Um, yeah, you want, let me think. You want to add as many ingredients as you can, you guys, and mix them up, you know what I'm saying? Like, go to the store, buy different fruits, put them in there, and then make different types of smoothies. Have fun with it, you know? And ice, you need ice, too. My friend taught me about that. Use ice. Ice makes it, like, the texture is, like, thicker. I don't know, it's better with ice. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. You do that. After you work out, do that post-workout, okay? Because then your muscles, everything is just, oh, everything is just um, itching. It just, your muscles are just squirming around, waiting for nutrients to flood them. And you give them that smoothie, it's so easy to digest. It's so easy on the intestines and the stomach. It's so good, because there's lots of fiber. Like, it's great, you guys. It just, you just feel good, you have high energy afterwards. You're ready to go, and you just feel it literally pour into your body. And you're just like, Yes, this feels healthy, this feels good. As opposed to most meals, you get done eating and you're like, man, I feel terrible. This, you actually feel good when you're done. Alright guys, take it easy. Um, it's Saturday night, do whatever you guys do. I'm just chilling as always. Lazy line. Peace. Yo, by the way, really quick. I want to give you guys a little tip on how to increase your hunger. Like how to like stay hungry all the time. You want to eat foods that you like. Don't force yourself to eat these foods, like nutritious foods that people tell you are so good for you, if you don't like them. Go find other foods, do some freaking research, get on the computer, do some research, find some other foods that have the same nutrients in them that you do like, and eat them.
buy them. Have them scattered throughout the house. I have food in my room, food downstairs. You gotta have food everywhere. So when you get up, you're surrounded by it. Just grab something and always be eating all day, you guys. Just constantly be eating. You will stay hungry. You will you will make dopamine neurons with dopamine cells that like make you feel good when you eat those foods. Like and they'll get stronger and stronger, and you will crave them. And you will be hungry all the time. Like I'm hungry all the time. All the time now. I just had rice and chicken like an hour and a half ago and I am hungry again to have another meal and like, ready to go. So guys, have food constantly throughout your house, everywhere you go, foods that you like that are good for you, and just munch, eat all day, I'm telling you. Your body will adapt and it'll be like, oh okay, so you're gonna give us food constantly? Well then we're gonna keep making you hungry. Oh and by the way, your body's like a machine, it's like a car. If you put a bunch of gas in, a, in your car and just leave it in your garage, is the gas gonna go anywhere? No, it's gonna sit there. Same with food, if you, if you put a bunch of food in your stomach and you don't move, you just sleep and like, stay sedentary, you're not, nothing's gonna happen to the food, it's not gonna get absorbed. It's just gonna pass right through you. You gotta move, you gotta expel energy to get hungry. You gotta do, you gotta do physical labor, physical work, you run around, swim, go work out, do something. Go longboard, I like longboarding. Do anything to stimulate your body, it's like a car to get moving. Once you get moving, then you'll get hungry. Alright guys, take it easy. Peace.